Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Sukhi Learn. I am Subjinder Singh and you can call me Sukhi. So as promised in my last video, today I will be demonstrating uh, a use case which can be used in your day-to-day -day, uh, bot life that you're living. So today again it is about using database package in Automation Anywhere. And what are we going to do? We will connect to the MS Access database use the insert statement to save data in the database table and then disconnect from the database. Now this is a particular use case which can be used for any data set that you are processing through the bot. So generally when we are processing data using the bot, we are also tracking the status of every transaction, whether it was successful, whether it was not successful. Now once you process all this data, you will move it to the output folder or you will move it to the archive folder. Now, just before you move it to the output or the archive folder, it is a good habit or it is a very useful thing to insert those records into a database table. Now, once you insert those records into database table for every run, you are in a position to create dashboards which can be linked directly to the database and which can be refreshed real time basis. So on a daily basis, you will have a clear picture of how many records did the bot process. Not only that, if you want to do any further analysis on what was the success percentage, how many records failed, what was the reason why it failed, and any other analysis of this nature, you can do it easily if you have the data centralized. So not only for one bot, if you, if you say if you're running 30 bots in your organization, you can apply this particular concept where you know for every bot you're saving data in the database now database can be any database it can be ms access it can be sql sql as we call it i'm showing an example of how to save the data in ms access database now once the data is centralized for each and every bot you can create a smart dashboard by creating pipettes or you can also think of linking it to power bi you you can really really expand your scope on how you want to present the data once you have the data centralized. So this is a real life scenario that I'm sharing it with you. I have used it and it was super easy for me to, you know, just refresh the, dash, refresh the Excel dashboard and just get the numbers quickly uh, on how many transactions were processed, how many actually were successful, how many failed, what were the reasons for it to fail. Uh, was it for a, was it was the failure rate high for specific products or a specific type of combinations that we were trying to process? All those kind of things can be analyzed if you have the data centralized. And this is one way of centralizing data. And just one more thing, if you are not subscribed to my channel till now, I will request you to please, I request you to please subscribe to my channel, hit the bell icon so that you can get the updates as soon as I upload my videos. And also, leave a comment, leave your thoughts, show your support by hitting the like button. So please do that. So let's get started with this one now. All right, so in this uh, use case, I'm using the order details file. If you have seen my previous videos, I created a bot to update the status, payment status for this particular file. Now I just add, added a column. So it's a good habit to you know capture the date on which you are processing the records. So say these are processed on the 1st of May, 2022. So what we are going to do is uh, what you will need. So the prerequisite is that you will need a table in the database, which is having the similar structure uh, to the columns that are over here. And uh, after that, we'll start creating the bot. The bot will pick up this file, insert all these records into the given table. Uh, and then what we'll do is we will change the date of the same file and will just run it again and then you you know for multiple dates the data will be saved inside the database so that's the objective okay all right so here is the table uh, this is how i created the table in ms access so all the relevant columns have been added and the table is ready to receive the data all right so now i'm in my control room and i will uh, build the bot quickly so say save db i will use the name save db 
So my first step would be to open the Excel file and store the data in data table. So quickly just you know, do that. Data table. So say open. So my input file is stored here. So the sheet contains headers. Always a good habit to say load add-ins. I will name the session as input. Now I need to get multiple cells from session input, store it in say input db. So save and then quickly go ahead and close this file. So once we have the data in the table, data table, then for each record in the table, I will go ahead and save the, insert the data in the database table that I've created. So say I will name this step as okay. Let me just set it up. Okay. I will use the database package connect disconnect is common I keep the session name as default connect to MS access this to file this is my database path Save. This connects default. Default. It's the same now for each row in the data table. I have to insert the record. So say I will use this action. I put it there. Say loop. Take it here. Put this inside this loop. For each row in table. This is the table. Say so I give this name, create and select. Now I will write the insert statement, default session, default session. So let's say insert into the details, values. And I'm inserting everything as string, so I'll be using single quotes for each of the value for this example. And I have seven columns, so the index number of the column starts from zero, so I will have to add it for zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see what I do this one, two, three, four. Five, six. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> I plugged in the charger now, and uh, this will be six, five, four, three. Two, one. So this is how the insert statement uh, is going to look like. So this should do the job. Um, so we have the table which is empty. So idly now it should go ahead and insert the records. All right. So I will run the bot. I have just observed that you know uh, the session name was captured incorrectly by me. So I've just changed it, changed it as per the requirement. So now let me just uh, run and see what happens here.
Get ready to go. All right, let's quickly check the database. And the data is inserted in the database. Now, um, I'll close the database here. What I'll do here is I will change the date just to take an example. So say we are processing a fresh set of records on another date. Uh, I will take it as second. It says save. So now when the bot runs, it should have ins it will insert these fresh set of records. Let's check it. Here we go. So these are the records inserted. Uh, Alright, so that's that's about the example. So again, uh, automation anywhere really makes life very easy by uh, giving such actions uh, which are already inbuilt. As you can see, it is as simple as just connect, you know, uh, add the insert, uh, update, delete action, and the job is done. So this is how you can uh, apply the concept of inserting the records from uh, the Excel file uh, into a database table. So that's uh, that's a wrap on how to build bots related to this concept. And I just want to cover one more thing in this video. So this is based on the query that I have received uh, in relation to the video where I've demonstrated how you can start using the trial version of Community Edition. Now, I've got a query that where exactly you can find the Community Edition, which is for the developers and the students available on the website. Now, once you log into your A People Automation Anywhere, uh, this is how the page loads. And you can see this one. This is the link available for Community Edition. This is where we click. This is what I demonstrated. This is what I demonstrated. However, you, if you just simply just scroll down, this is the actual Community Edition version, which is uh, available for free, which you can use uh, to practice, learn automation anywhere. So if you have not yet downloaded the community edition, I would request you to go here, follow the instructions, very simple, easy to follow. Just follow the instructions and you'll be in a position to use it and then start building your bots. Go be great and keep learning. Thank you.